Baha is a private listed company listed on the Kuala Lumpur Stock Exchange. The principal activity of the company provides shipping and related services in Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and Myanmar. The company also serves as a feeder to mainline operators and acts as shipping agent for mainline operators, as well as provides shipping agency and related services. PDG Holding Berhad is based in Port Klang, Malaysia. The vision of the PDG Holding Berhad is we are in the business of providing shipping logistic solution, linking exporter and importers in the pursuit of quality and value creation. The mission of the PDG Holding Berhad is we aim to be the carrier of choices in the market we serve. There are two issues that are faced by PDZ Holding Berhad. The first issue is they stuck in the middle. PDZ Holding Berhad was facing loss in years 2013, 2015, and 2016. The most highest loss that faced by the company is on 2015, which the loss of company was 58.8 million. The second issue of the company is the problem of corporate governance. There is 8 out of 10 board of directors face change of position during 2015 and until 2017. The change of board of directors may cause trip when they did not know well the vision, mission and objective of the company. They also can get used to the company culture. Swap analysis, strength, market risk, distribution awareness, location, many branches, their experience, weaknesses, problem in corporate governance, financial increase expenses, opportunity, expand market, business service development, partnership, agency, and distribution, threat, competitor, politic impact, new technology, and economic crisis. Malaysia have just ended its 14th general election on this May with a historical turnover whereby the opposition party won the majority parliament seat for the first time. They promised to abolish the good and service tax, reinforce petrol subsidies, streamline minimum wage and review the assignment of mega project. Although it's still early to be unsure of their implementation, the proposal made by the new government has opened up new door of opportunity in the future for company without strong political connection like PDZ Holdings. In terms of economic, the prevailing weak and volatile oil price have impacted the economic growth in the Southeast Asian region. HSBC forecasts Malaysia GDP growth at 5.4% this year, a tribute to short-term gain from rebound threat growth and resilient domestic demand. However, HSBC expects public infrastructure investment realization to as a threat abruptly driven by a large-scale project like a East Coast Rail Link and Belt and Road Initiative project. PDJ should be alert of the economic growth rate and the trend in the market to capture the opportunity and prepare for possible economic recession. In terms of technology, according to the World Shipping Association, Port of Singapore Authority, PSA, is currently the second largest port in the world. The success is attributed to the advanced technology adopted by PSA. Singapore is continually allocating significant investment into research and development and currently exploring cutting-edge technology. Likewise, the Port Technology magazine reported in January that Westport and Northport growth in the past year was attributed to the efficient and productivity terminal operator, well-built network among its shipping and logistic community and its port supply-driven facility. In addition to the advanced cargo handling equipment, total government and industry spending for R&D should be the benchmark for PDZ to allocate its own fund for the same purpose if the company is meant to compete in the long run. In terms of social culture, although Southeast Asia is a region made up of nations with verifying types of political ideology and agenda, Southeast Asia has done well in handling its maritime affair. Refer to this, Asia play a significant role as a medium of force to regional government to achieve consensus regarding to the concerned sea affair. Asia has been focusing to enhance the capacity increase the competitiveness and consolidate the linkage between the maritime transport sector in the region. Thus, it is absolutely crucial for the government, like Malaysia, to provide an efficient maritime transport service to facilitate its trade.
which Malaysia depend much on it to stimulate its maritime based economy. Hence, the unionization within the region should be taken into consideration before PDZ decide on its business strategy. The social culture force can regulate and shape the value, moral and custom of society. In terms of ecology, due to the increasing concern for our environment, regulators have decided on 2015 onwards ship operating within the emission control area are required to use 0.1% or less suppressed content fuel. However, some countries where emission control areas are not established, like Singapore have already leading volunteering initiatives to reduce suppressed oxide emission by offering financial incentives for the company that use low suppressed fuel or green technology. Hence, PDZ Holding Berhad need to be prepared in terms of financial allocation and adaptation of modern and green technology in terms to be aligned with the up-to-date regulation and incentive. The first strategy PDZ Holding can use is stability strategies. Stability strategy that's mean from the start the expenditure on expansion. In this stability strategy, PDZ Holdings can use profit strategy to increase their financial. Second strategy PDZ Holding Berhad can use is retrenchment strategy. In this case, PDZ Holding Berhad will reduce the score of its activities such as reduction, its means selling asset, just continuing unsuccessful for the line, dismissing employee, restructuring them or even liquidating the firm. PDZ Holding Berhad always keep changing their non-executive director. If they really want to do this, maybe he has several qualifications of a good director position they can follow. The good director must have experience, effective, understanding and can think outside the box. The candidate that have many experience can help company to be more successful. They will have more refresh idea because they have many experience before.